Hello everybody, so let's look at something a little bit different today. Let's say for example that I want to create a row of points per meter. So I want to create one at 0, one at 1 in x, 2 in x, 3 in x, 4 in x, 5 in x, etc. Right? But I want to do this per frame. So each frame I want to add a new point. So this line will actually be animated. Well, how can I do that? Well, we've already looked at how to place points uh, using the add node. But if I want to do it by frame, a good way to do it is using a pop solver or a pop network. Uh, what this means is pop stands for particle operator. And remember that I said that particles and points are the same thing in Houdini? Well, here's an example of how we can create those points using a particle system. So let's start by going into a a geo node and inside the geo node I want to add my pop network this is this one here this is the um, the network that will allow me to create my particles and if I just open it in default and I scrub my timeline you see at the moment nothing happens now why is that well because it's looking for some information that's coming into it it says here from the first context geometry which means the first point here and there's nothing added here so there's nothing that can come in so i can add say a point here and then it will use that point to generate other things within this network but i'm not going to do that what i'm just going to do is i'm going to open this and i'm actually going to delete these parts here let's get rid of them and I want to add something called a pop, oops, a pop location. There we go. And let's add that in here. Okay, now you can see that I've got something going on here. These blue dots, let me zoom in a bit. Okay, I've got a bunch of points there. How many do I have? Let me have a look. I'll just middle click on the output and it says I've got 209 points. Okay, brilliant. Now, the reason for this is this birth attribute. And it is, it's activated and it's saying it's going to create 5,000 points, about anyway, 5,000 points per second, right? So you can see now when I scroll back, if I, let me take that back. So I'm going to go through this timeline and there you see it's creating a whole bunch of particles. Cool, huh? But remember what I wanted to do. I just wanted to create one particle per meter. So I need to control these somehow. And the way I'm going to do that is I need to add a particle per frame. Remember that. So what I want to do is I'm going to rem remove this constant activation. Now the difference from my understanding is that this will activate the points, how many points per second. I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is activate the points by frame, which will be this one right here, okay? Or it's each time it cooks, it's called, which basically in this case will mean each frame it will recalculate it, okay? So let's take a look at this. At the moment, we're, we're pushing this and there's nothing happening. Let me see how many points I've got. If I go into the spreadsheet, I go down to pop object, I hit geometry. I can see here, I've got no geometry. Now we haven't looked at the geometry spreadsheet yet. Um, and to be honest, this probably isn't a good example to introduce it to within, the, within this pop network. But for now, that's just, if you want to follow along, you can just click on this and you can see that there's no information in here, which means there's, there's no points. So how do I create a point? Well, simple. Let's put impulse count and let's have that to one. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. I had a bit of a crash there. Anyway, I've got it all back up again. And um, okay, so back to where we were. So we we're looking at this impulse activation. And remember, this will do it in this case per frame. And I want to just add one point per frame. So I'm going to add one here. All right. Now let's see if this works this time. Let's remember to go into our geometry spreadsheet and I can see already on frame one I've now got one point let's go to frame two two points three points four points etc etc okay so now I'm creating a point per frame great 
And let's look at this here. If I open this up and play this, I can see that I'm getting, I'm just playing 40 frames here and I can see that I'm getting 40 points. But I also want to control how they appear on the screen. I want to remember to just create one meter in X each time. How will I do that? Well, what I do need to do is go through into my attributes and I can see that I've got a bunch of information here. I've got velocity, which is telling me how far it's going to kind of push that, um, uh, that point from its origin and the variance. I want this variance to be at zero because I don't want it to vary at all. Now, if I remove all of this, I should now get no movement at all. So I'm getting the points add in, but you can see they're not moving. They're all just sitting here on the origin. Let me um, make that point a bit bigger if possible. Let's go to guides. Uh, let's have a look here. Point marker size. There we go. It's a bit larger. You can see that point better. Super. And in fact, there I've got, let me see how many points. 20 points. Okay. I've got 20 points. If you want to see where that information is, geometry, 20 points there. And they're all just sitting on top of each other. So I'm getting closer to what I want, right? So now let's take it back to the beginning. So how do I get it to create one per meter moving out? Well, like what about if I make the position here into one? It works. Oh, and you can see here the position, each point is actually going on top of each other now, but at X, uh, one in X, right? And there's zero in Y and zero in Z. Hmm. So how do I get around this? Well, I know that I want my frame number to match the position. So on frame one, I want it, the point to be at position one. Frame two, I want it to be at position two. Frame three, I want it to be in position three. So I can do that using the frame attribute. And the way to do that is to use the at sign, capital F, R-A-M-E, frame, hit enter. And now you will see that each frame, this position, at the moment it's position one. Now it's going to position two, three, four. Oh, look, that's doing exactly what we wanted. Go back to that. And now if I scrub this timeline, I can see it's doing exactly what I want it to. There and back again. What about if I wanted to create it not every meter, but every just 10 centimeters. So I wanted to create 10 per meter. Well, I can do that by having the frame and I'll times that by 0 0.1, or you could divide it by 10, it's just the same thing, right? And this time I should get the same thing. Hey, but this time they're much closer together. Cool, huh? All right, hope that helps a little bit to understand the pop network slightly we'll do a lot more on this of course and uh, if you have any comments questions or criticisms as always leave them in the comments below and i'll be sure to get back to you okay guys you have a great day